2023 Nissan Maxima Review, going out in style. Nissan fans will be well acquainted with the Maxima, this full-size sedan has sported the same styling for over half a decade and still features outdated tech. Under the hood lies an old-school naturally aspirated V6 engine producing 300 horsepower, which it sends to the front wheels via a dull and sometimes unrefined continuously variable transmission. At least the Maxima's interior is well-built and the feature list solid, while every safety review of the Nissan Maxima has noted how well it holds up in a crash. The 2023 Maxima sails off into the sunset with hardly a tweak this year. The Nissan Maxima's competitors are traditional sedans such as the Mazda 6 and Honda Accord, but does the new high-riding Toyota Crown crossover sedan suggest that the traditional sedan template the Maxima uses has become irrelevant? 2023 Nissan Maxima changes, what's the difference versus the 2022 Maxima? The Maxima has been Nissan's flagship sedan since the 1980s, but that long run is coming to an end, 2023 will be the last model year for this car. For its home run, the 2023 Nissan Maxima's platinum trim gets illuminated kick plates and upgraded semi-aniline leather upholstery. The observant will notice that all Maximas are now also adorned with the new, restyled Nissan corporate logo inside and out. Last of all, Sunset Drift Chroma Flare disappears from the paint palette. The new Nissan Maxima goes on sale in the USA at a base MSRP of $38,140. Pros and cons. Refined, plush interior. Attractive looks. Powerful engine. Top class safety. Good handling dynamics. Obtuse CVT transmission. Poor gas mileage. Tight trunk and rear seat space. SR's stiff-legged ride. 2023 Nissan Maxima handling and driving impressions. Large sedans with big V6 engines and front-wheel drive layouts don't tend to impress much in terms of sporty driving, but the Maxima delivers a refreshingly capable driving experience. With all that weight over the front wheels, the V6 manages to put down its power nicely, and the Maxima will outsprint most of its rivals, powering it to 60 miles per hour in well under 6 seconds. That weight also leads to some mild understeer in the corners, but it's perfectly manageable. The suspension is tight but not overly stiff and delivers a good balance between comfort and sporty driving. The SR trim takes things a little too far with an overly stiff ride, but the upshot is surprisingly sharp handling if that's what you're after in a big sedan. The steering is light enough for comfortable city driving, and its refined cabin and supple highway ride make it a great cruiser. It's no sports car, but this is still one of the better balanced vehicles in its class. Verdict, is the 2023 Nissan Maxima a good car? The Nissan Maxima has reached the end of its career, and to many Nissan fans, this will be sad news, but the honest truth is that the Maxima has always been a bit of an ulceran. It's competent but ultimately forgettable, and although it looks good, drives nicely, has lots of power, and features a refined interior, it doesn't set any new standards. If we were to give the Maxima some kudos, it would be for its quality interior that includes many standard features. It is also worth mentioning that this car is one of the safest in its class, with previous model years sporting top awards from the NHTSA and IIHS. The tight rear seat and small trunk are uncharacteristic of a large sedan though, which might be deal-breakers for some. The Maxima has been relegated to history like other soon-to-be-dead rivals such as the Chrysler 300 and it really shows its age against the innovative new Toyota Crown, which proves you can have a sedan and crossover all in one. 2023 Maxima Exterior Unlike many class competitors that disappear into traffic, the Maxima has a bold and in-your-face look that is truly refreshing. Its exterior features a large V-Motion front grille and all models come standard with intelligent auto LED headlights and DRL's SR and Platinum models also get LED fog lights, a power panoramic sunroof, and an auto-dimming driver-side mirror. The base model rides on 18-inch machine finish alloys, which increase in size to 19 inches for the rest of the range. The SR is the sporty looker in the lineup, with blackout treatment for its wheels and exterior accents. Dimensions 
The Maxima is classified as a full-size sedan and is nearly the same size as competitors such as the Toyota Crown and Dodge Charger. Photos do not do this car justice, out in the real world, it seems larger and has more of a striking presence. The 2023 Maxima has an overall length of 192.8 inches, a width of 73.2 inches without the mirrors, and a height of 56.5 inches. The track width is 62.4 inches front and rear, and rolls on a 109.3-inch wheelbase. The base model weighs in at 3,608 pounds, the SR weighs 3,717 pounds, and the Platinum comes in at 3,730 pounds. 2023 Maxima Interior Forget what you thought you knew about Nissan interiors, the Maxima houses a beautifully refined interior that can easily stand up to German rivals in terms of build quality and choice of materials. The seats offer just the right amount of support and are exceptionally comfortable. The dashboard layout is refreshingly simple and easy to navigate, which will appeal to an older, less tech-savvy crowd. Space is ample in the front, but headroom in the back is limited. The rear legroom is somewhat disappointing, considering the size of the car and the tight middle seat can also be a source of complaint for some. The infotainment system in the Maxima is a solid effort, and, when fully spec'd, the Maxima can become a real luxury yacht. Seating and interior space The Maxima officially provides seating for up to five individuals. In the front, this Japanese sedan offers a good amount of headroom and a class-leading 45 inches of legroom perfect for those 6-foot-plus occupants. Things in the back don't look so good, though, and the 34.2 inches of legroom is somewhat disappointing, considering the size of the car, the Charger, 300, and Crown beat it by a whopping 4.7 to 7.4 inches. There is little headroom for taller passengers' headroom in the back, it varies from 36.7 inches without the moonroof to 35.8 inches with it, less than that of most rivals. The center seat is so small that it should be considered a children's seat, at best. Besides the relatively tight back seat, the Maxima offers good visibility all around, and the driver and front passenger have easy access to all important controls. Getting in and out of the Maxima is a trouble-free experience, but taller passengers will have to watch their heads upon entry. The driver gets an 8-way power adjustable seat with power lumbar support, while the front passenger gets a 4-way power adjustable seat. A driver's side memory system and manual thigh support extension are also standard on the top two trims. Interior colors and materials. The Maxima offers a convincingly premium interior experience, with even the base model offering some notably upmarket materials. Step inside the SV, and you'll be greeted with leather upholstered seats in a choice of charcoal or cashmere, a leather wrapped steering wheel and shift knob, and subtle satin chrome interior trim. The SR model gets premium mascot leather seats in charcoal with diamond quilted Alcantara inserts and dark satin chrome interior trim, as well as aluminum sport pedals and a charcoal headliner. The top-of-the-line Platinum receives premium semi-aniline leather upholstery with diamond-quilted leather inserts and satin bird's-eye maple wood-tone trim. It is worth noting that not all seat colors are available with all exterior paint colors. 2023 Maxima Trunk and Cargo Space While passengers won't complain about the amount of space on offer in the cabin, they will be disappointed to find that the Maxima has one of the smallest trunks in its class. Its only saving grace is that the trunk lid has a square opening and low liftover angle that makes for easy access. You are offered 14.3 cubic feet of space behind the rear seats, which should be enough for a week's worth of grocery shopping. The good news is that the 60-40 split seats fold down for even more space. By comparison, the much more affordable Honda Accord offers 16.7 cubic feet of space. On the inside, the Maxima provides its occupants with a sizable cubby in the center console and a large bin under the front armrest. Deep door pockets, dual front cup holders, a decent glove box, and seat backrest pockets round out the small item storage solutions. There are three trims to choose from for 2023, the SV, SR, and Platinum. All are powered by a 3.5-liter naturally aspirated V6 engine producing 300 horsepower and 261 lb-ft of power is sent to the front wheels via a CVT automatic. 
Standard features on all models include automatic LED headlights, heated front seats, leather upholstery, dual-zone climate control with rear seat vents, and an 8-inch touchscreen display, navigation, in-car Wi-Fi, and adaptive cruise control, forward collision warning, pedestrian detection, and lane departure warning. Depending on the trim, features available higher up in the range include sport-tuned suspension, a panoramic sunroof, rain-sensing window wipers, wood trim, and rear seat heating. What's the price of the 2023 Nissan Maxima? The 2023 Maxima starts with an MSRP of $38,140, excluding tax, registration, and a destination fee of $1,095. The base model is followed by the SR, which costs $43,300. The Platinum Trim Maxima has a price of $44,250. In comparison, the excellent new Honda Accord starts at only $27,295 but competes in a lower performance class than the 300 horsepower Maxima. The similarly powerful Charger starts at around $5,000 less than the base Maxima. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.